Hey everyone, Leo Bond here. I'm back again today for the Best Buy Canada plug-in blog, and this time it's with a look at another one of these very cool Vex Robotics build kits. Now, I recently reviewed the Hexbug Robotics Spider, but today I'm taking a look at the construction set that's known as the Robotic Arm, which, once again, is meant for kids ages 8 and up, and is also a STEM-based learning toy. Now, for those not familiar with that term just yet, I always like to mention that STEM is an acronym. It stands for Science, Technology, Engineering, and Math. So these VEX Robotics kits are basically learning toys that kids put together themselves, and it's kind of meant to help further their understanding of the STEM fields, or if the kids already have an interest in this sort of thing, it helps to nurture that interest, or some kids can be intimidated by this stuff, and it also kind of helps to take that fear away. Now, as we go through the review, I do plan to go back and forth a bit between the Hexbug Spider and this robotic arm set, sort of do a little compare and contrast thing, as there are quite a few similarities between the two sets, as well as some pretty significant differences. So, the first similarity I'll mention is that both sets are approximately the same size, and by that I just mean that they both have roughly the same number of parts. Both boxes advertise 350 plus parts, and both builds also do feel quite similar, at least insofar as that you're using pretty much the same types of parts for each project. One fairly significant difference between the two sets, though, is that the Hexbug Spider features electronic motors and a battery-powered remote to control its movements. The robotic arm, alternatively, has no such electronics in it, although it does feature a number of moving parts, but in this case, the movement is purely mechanical, meaning that you'll have to control it yourself via a series of knobs and levers. It's a pretty cool setup, but I think it's a little bit more complex than the spider in some ways, because it actually took me quite a bit longer to build the robotic arm. It was somewhere in the three to four hour range, whereas the spider only took maybe two, two and a half half hours to fully assemble. Now, the instructions for this set are very, very good, just as they were for the Hexbug Spider. The booklet, which is a little bit bigger this time around, is highly detailed and has numerous pages of instructions. Every little step is in there, and they even clue you in about the different angles that you'll encounter with otherwise very similar parts so that you don't easily get them mixed up. In fact, I don't think I made a single misstep with this set, even if I was a little bit slower than with the Spider. Of course, they even number the parts so that you can always find the one that you need. And what's especially cool about this set is that there are two additional builds, that is, official builds, that you can choose to assemble. There's a very cool looking scorpion mode, and there's also a helicopter mode that you can make. Now, unfortunately, there's no such option for additional official builds with the Hexbug Robotic Spider. So I really consider this to be some great added value for the robotic arm. And if you want to complete one of these alternate builds, all you have to do is go to hexbug.com find the appropriate product, and download its instructions, which, once again, are very well laid out. And I think that's where I'm going to leave off for today. Uh, I do like this set a whole lot. It's fun. It's interesting. It's got some really good educational value to it as well, I think. Great for a rainy day. And, of course, you don't have to stick strictly to that robotic arm build. You can do the scorpion or the helicopter or something else entirely that you just come up with on your own. So very, very cool. And that's my final verdict on this one. Now, if you liked this video and found it useful, please give it a like or a share. And you're certainly welcome to subscribe if you enjoy this sort of content. Uh, lots more to come. I've got a bunch of toys on my desk. Things really pick up at this time of the year, especially with the lead up to Christmas. So as always, this is Leo Bond saying thanks everyone for watching and have an excellent day.